Welcome back, everyone! I'm here to deliver some moonfish today, before I set out on the journey, because, you know, I don't know. I also turned in that bounty off screen. I, I would have shown that, but gee, nothing really happened. I just got a thousand gold, so there was no point in really putting that in, so I just decided, you know, I won't start there. I'll start here, because why not? I don't know. I see you've caught some moonfish. Here, let's feed the little critter. Feed the bird a moonfish. You gave the moonfish to Maria's bird. Look at that thing! That thing's insane! Also, there's an eggshell on its head. Why does it have an eggshell on its head? And why did the eggshell grow? That's not supposed to happen. Hmm. That thing is getting big! Jeez, I wonder how much more it'll grow. Probably a ton. Probably way too much. I don't even know. Ew! It coughed up something! Oh, wait! There's something inside the... Um... Hairball! Tell you what. As a token of my appreciation, you can keep whatever the bird spits up. Okay, uh, thanks. I got a hairball. Oh my gosh. You received the Rizalem uh, Crystal. A Rizalem. I don't even know. Rizalem or Rizalem. Whatever you want to say, it's, it is what it is. Looks like you've still got some moonfish left over. Do you want to feed another one to the bird? Feed the bird a moonfish. You gave the moonfish to Maria's bird. Da 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 da. Listen to that thing. It makes such weird noises. It doesn't, you don't even see it eating the food. It's just like it just grows magically just by the sight of the moonfish. Hmm, that thing is getting big. Jeez, I wonder how much more it'll grow. Jeez, I wonder how many times you'll be repeating these uh, these exact same sentences. I have no idea. Probably f way too many times, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Ew, it coughed up something. Oh, wait, there's something inside the um hairball again. Tell you what, as a token of my appreciation, keep whatever the bird spits up. Oh my gosh, you received the warrior's rune! Wasn't that just great? So glad we received things like that. The chicken is growing up big and strong now. Dot 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 dot! Look how big your little bird has grown, Maria. And it's all thanks to this young man and his friends. Dot 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 dot! Oh, she said thank you, okay. I didn't even have to say it! W huh? M Maria, did you just say something? M Maria! Oh my gosh, the silent protagonist is no longer silent! Even though she's not the protagonist, she's just a random side character. Vice, I... I can't thank you enough. I don't know how many years it's been since I've heard Maria's voice. Huh? What?! You mean to tell me your own daughter hasn't spoken to you in years?! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Back up there, honey! I'm still single, I don't even have a wife, let alone a kid! Maria's not my kid. She, uh, lost her family a few years back. Okie dokie, then! So, pretty much your adopted child, then. I may not look the part now, but at one point in my life, I was a Valuan soldier. I worked for Mendoza, a former admiral of the Valuan Armada, as a doctor on board his flagship. And Maria is his daughter, the daughter of a Valuan Admiral. You don't say! However, when she was still very young, she lost her father and the rest of her family in a horrible accident. It was a horrifying experience for such a little kid to go through. Since then, she hasn't shown a hint of emotion or spoken a single word. And I don't blame her either. The poor kid had to watch her family ship with all of her family still on board sink below the clouds. A sad tale indeed. So, I took her under my wing and retired from the military, and that's when I became a free ship doctor. That's why it's sort of my responsibility to make sure Maria is happy. It's my responsibility, and my punishment of sorts. Hmm? Oh, I'll be right there, Maria. Ever since she stopped talking, whenever she needs me, she just rings her bell like that. And every time I hear that bell, my heart nearly breaks. Vice, I beg of you, please find more moonfish. The literal, the little bird, for whatever reason, seems to be getting through to Maria. She seems to be coming out of her shell at long last. Who knows, maybe Maria will actually smile again someday. Heh, <laughs> I probably shouldn't get my hopes up, but I can't help it. But I'm going to bet on you. 
Something tells me that if anyone can heal Maria's wounds, it's you. I'm counting on you, Vice. Uh-huh. 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 Okay, anyway. I don't know why I just went into that randomly, but... Okie dokie then, everyone. Are you ready to get going to our destination finally? It's gonna be... It's gonna be great. I don't know, maybe. It might be great. Anyway, I, I did a little bit of looking around already, and I found out where it is already, so hopefully I don't end up going in the wrong direction randomly. I don't want to not uh, not be able to know where it is, because it's like, oh, okay, now I don't know where it is. Now we're, now we're lost. Now this, is, you know, this is crazy. Uh, it's going to be the worst thing ever, of course. Alrighty then, everyone. Let's see. We got... We got this guy where there's blues and there's a purple. So, I can already understand this here. The purple guys, they're weak to fire. They aren't weak to, to ice. That's not what they're trying to tell me here. So, obviously, in, in that case, what did I just say? I, yeah, red. Okay, I was like, what? Where am I going again? Yeah, they're weak to, they're weak to red because, I don't know. I don't know how the score, score fly. I don't know how that thing is... I don't know how that thing is ice, but apparently it is, and it's weak to fire, so... Or not. Uh, I... Or maybe she's just weak. I, I don't know, everyone. I don't know. That did a lot of damage. And then her attack did nothing. Now I'm confused. I really am confused, actually. A little bit weird, I suppose. No, don't do that. You just you just poked me with the little thorns and whatnot. I'm running around in circles around you. You're trying to run away, and I'm running in circles. Is that an effective strategy? No, I don't think it is. So he's dead. We just got a couple blue guys left. And, eh, I don't know, everyone. Blue guys, what are they weak to exactly? Are they weak to green? They could be weak to green, maybe. Well, let's just let's just try it out anyway. Maybe they're weak to green, and we'll just do we'll just do a lambda burst because wh why the heck not? He needs to learn a new move. Wait, what was that? That was that's let's do green. Assuming green works on them, because I think the green worked on the I think the green worked on the shell guys, and they're water elements. So I, I believe that's water element anyway. So maybe it'll work. Who knows? You, you got to take advantage of those weaknesses. I'm. So, uh, I have not. I believe the episode where I asked the question has not come out yet. But I'm still curious. I mean, if the question has not been answered yet, and what the what the elemental weaknesses equate to, or whatever. Because I mean, maybe maybe I'm right. Maybe the purple portrait means they're weak to fire and whatnot. What does the blue portrait mean? Does it mean they're weak to green? Right. Serves you right. Yeah, he sounds like your generic eye patch pirate right there, pretty much. But yeah, maybe the blue means they're weak to green, maybe something else means they're weak to another thing, and I don't know. I like to know these things, you know, it, it helps to, to know stuff. So, Sacris was learned, eh? Wait, is that the upgrade? That might be the upgraded version of the- ooh, oops, that was the wrong one. I think we might have just learned the upgraded version of the magic, everyone. Also, I applied the, the upgrade to the ship, too. It's now got 1100. I don't know if it has more damage or not, though. Does it have more damage? It doesn't look like it. Also, I confirmed that the standard cannon, it can, the standard cannon is better. It's literally better in every single way. Same SP, more attack power, better hit percentage. I mean, you can't really go wrong with that. I don't know. I don't know if anything else went up. I only saw the... I didn't do that. I only saw the, the whatever go up, so I don't know. There is that. So what did I just get? I got a new healing spell, so I want to check that, of course. Let's see. We got... We got Sacris. Restores 1,000 HP to any one ally can also be used outside of battle. Well, anyway. So, everyone! The topic of the day. Lloyd freaking Irving. <laughs> Why is this relevant randomly? Well, for those of you who haven't been following in news, gaming news, well, you wouldn't know this already, but Lloyd Irving has been confirmed for Super Smash Brothers. 3DS and Wii U. Not as a playable character, though, but as a costume. Oh, boy. I'm not happy about that. I really am not happy about that. Because, let, uh, let me get this straight here. You know, oh, I don't know why I'm doing... You know what? It's probably just because her move is really overpowered. But anyway, though, Lloyd Irving being a costume and does not make me happy at all. Because, I mean, you know, you could have just put any other ca Tails character as a me sword fighter. You didn't have to do Lloyd. Lloyd could have been a full-fledged character. You could have just done some other Tails character as a costume. Like, I don't know, Luke or something. I mean, if you're going to put a Tails character as a costume, do someone with one sword like Luke. That's exactly what my point is, though. One sword, everyone. Lloyd does not use one sword. So, 
there's no point in making him a costume if he's going to use one sword. You gotta make him a full-fledged character or not have him at all. I mean, I'm just saying. As much as I'm, oh, okay, they're giving him recognition. I'm glad they're giving him recognition, but that's not the way I want to see them getting recognition. That, it shouldn't, it should, no, 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 that's, that's, not, that's not how it should be. It just shouldn't be, everyone. I'm sorry, but it just should not be. All right, you do your lambda burst. I don't know why I'm guarding, but, you know, whatever. We're going to attack with one thing, and then we're going to attack with another thing, and it's going to be great. It's going to be, might, everyone might just die at once, but, oh, boy, Lloyd, why, why, Lloyd? Why would you be that? Also, I mean, I guess... Other me costumes, I guess, you know, you got Krom being a costume. I guess that's kind of cool. I, I'm fine with that. I mean, I, don't, I never really expect him to be a character anyway. I mean, what what kind of moveset would he have really had that would have been different from Lucina, Marth, or Ike? I mean, uh, Krom knows Ether, so he, I mean, like he could have easily taken Ike's m spot in the roster and just used Ether or something. But no, I, I'm glad they didn't do that because I kind of like Ike, but I don't know. I mean, they could have just done the, they could have given him the the Ike treatment or the Marth Lucina treatment maybe make Krom a slightly different clone of Ike maybe I don't even know like very minor variation oh, I never did figure this thing out here I should probably look at this real quick fish hopefully I don't get attacked by pirates this time let me go down I would like to go okay there we go let's go down what is that fish no no Why don't you just fly away from me I wanted to see what you were man I never got him. Okay, okay. Well, anyway, though. I guess I'm a little bit disappointed by that. Anyway, though, other costumes, though. There's, you know, some of them are kind of uninteresting, I guess. But then there's... There's also a costume of the Black Knight. You know, I played Path the Radiance. And the Black Knight was a pretty important character in that game. Yeah, you, you, you see him from pretty much the very beginning of the game, so I'm not really spoiling that. But it, you, get, you get his importance very early in the game. And he is important. And, well, he actually got a, he has a me costume now, which is kind of interesting. Kinda, I kind of like that they're giving, giving him a costume too. I never really saw him as a someone who really needed to be... I mean, okay, I will admit. I, during the Brawl era, I kind of I kind of wanted him as a playable character. But now, I don't know. Not so much anymore. I don't really see his viability as a character. But I, you know what? I could definitely see him as a costume. I, I kind of like that, he did, that they did that. So there's that. And then... Unfortunately, no new characters announced, so you know, it's like, oh, there's no actual Lloyd Irving to go along with the costume. I don't know. I, I'm not really getting my hopes up at this point. They, I have, however, now that Lloyd has been confirmed for a costume, I have actually submitted another ballot. Because I, I don't really want the, the Tails fan base's votes to be divided. I know the majority is going to be voting for Lloyd Irving. So now that I know that Lloyd's pretty much 99% deconfirmed or whatever, I'm pretty much gonna be. I pretty much re-voted again. I don't know if they're gonna count that vote or whatever, but I re-voted. Did I? No, I didn't. I didn't do something wrong, did I? I don't even know if I did. I don't think I did. But either way, though, now that I know that Lloyd is pretty much deconfirmed, I'm going to. I, I did a re-vote. I'm voting for Kratos Arion, as I probably should have from the beginning. But you know, like I said, I don't want the Tails fan base's votes being split, so I, I voted for the most obvious one, being Lloyd Irving. And since now he's not the most obvious, I'm gonna vote for. I'm gonna vote for my guy, Kratos, of course. How would I not vote for him? You know, you get Kratos in there, and then you get Lloyd in there as the costume. I don't know, it'd make more sense to have Kratos as the costume and Lloyd as the character, if I were to be perfectly honest, but... That was easy. You know what? Not that Lloyd as a costume? I don't care. I hope Kratos is a playable character. <laughs> Alrighty, jeez. Anyway, my gosh, it's taking us a while to get there, that's for sure. 81 max HP, we got some will, we got some... When do we ever get Agile? I don't even think we... I've seen us get Agile on a level up yet. Interesting, I suppose, Maraca Shell. Oh boy. Well then, everyone, I, I, I actually have to go do something again real quick. I know, just like last episode, but... You know, there's the town right there. And when I return, we will be entering the town, so I will be right back. Okie dokie then, everyone. I am back, and here we go. Into the city we go! Whoa! It's gonna be a black screen. That's unfortunate. Greetings! Welcome home! We are the fleet that guards the southern Danol Strait. We will escort you from this point. Oh! That would be greatly appreciated! Lead the way! I don't want to lead the way, though. Let me do it. I know you're not making me do it, but I'm just saying that anyway. Don't make me do it. I don't want to do things. Or do I? Hey, my wings are going through your ship. I'm going to be sending you down to the ground. 
Thank you very much for destroying my ship. I really appreciate it. It appears you safely brought me home. Even though you really didn't because you destroyed my ship. As I promised, here is the Valuan passport. Alright, so this is what the passport looks like. We can finally get into Valua with this. Do your celebration! What are you doing? Jeez. Anyway. We must get going! May the red moon watch over you and light your path! Well, I mean, we do have a red moon, so... Yeah, sure, whatever. I know he's talking about the sky, I'm just saying, though. I mean, our, we do have a red moonstone or something like that, anyway. Turns our weapons red. Makes them fiery. Off to Valua. Let's not waste any more time. Aye, aye. Little Jack full rudder. Turning 180 degrees to Valua. Full speed ahead. I don't know if we're really go. Hey, I can actually see inside the ship a little bit. I don't know if we're really going full speed ahead. It seems like we're kind of in standstill right now. You don't just say 180 degree turn and then make the 180 degree turn. You gotta, you gotta say it as you're doing it. So you know, oh, 180 degree turn. No, I'm doing it. You received a value and passport. Well, congratulations, we got it. I, I thought we were gonna be entering the city. I kind of, kind of want to actually explore the city a little bit. I mean, can I do that? Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be fighting their military now. That's going to be fun. I'm just kidding. Of course we're not fighting their military, people. Jeez. That'd be ridiculous. Seriously. What if we were what if we were just randomly fighting the military, huh? I don't know. I, I think I would go crazy, in fact. So let's see. Let's go for that guy. We'll do a... We'll do an Alpha Storm on... These two? Hopefully. I don't know. Maybe we'll do it on those two. Maybe we won't do it on those two. Either way. Whatever. Let's just, let's just get the guaranteed kill here. Oh, yeah, actually, you know, if we're lucky, maybe we'll be able to hit all three of them. Wouldn't that be... Did we get him? Did we get him? Oh! Oh. That you, you guys can't tell me that that was not in the line of fire right there. You can't tell me that. That was definitely in the line of... That's, that is such a lot of big amount of damage right there. That's such a lot of big amount of damage. Yeah, that's exactly what I meant to say. That was easy. No, it wasn't. Yeah, it was. I'm just kidding. I, I'm, I'm a liar. I'm, I'm the biggest liar that's ever lived. Or am I? But no, I'm not! The, the fact is, almost everyone's level 10 now. Rank up. Oh, yeah, everyone's a healer now. Everyone is completely broken. I can't wait. I'm pressing the wrong button. We are, we are the Nasser Guard. It is our duty to defend the South Daniel Strait. Southern Daniel Strait is a restricted area. No unauthorized vessels may pass through here without express permission. Oh. But I want to I wanna come in there, though. Fine, I see. Maybe I need my own... Maybe I need another passport to get in there, too. Who knows? We'll never know. Oh, 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 second attempt of the fish. Second attempt of the fish! Oh! Did that count? Hey, hold on a second. That's the math. That's not what I meant to do. Let's see. Did we get it? I don't, I don't have a clue, actually. Let's see what the... Uh, no, do we want to see what that other guy is? Hold on a second. What am I looking at? Yeah! 151 attack power! Also, what happened to her attack power? Did they unequip something on accident? Cause that, I don't, I don't even know, it just seems like she got a, maybe, maybe Vice just got a big attack boost, maybe I'm just underestimating it here. I mean, the defense is about the same, I mean, just about, like, other than Will, just about everything about them is the same, except for, well, I mean, yeah, okay, okay, I get it, uh, their attack is still different, their will is different, cause she's a mage, of course, she's gotta be a mage, I mean, heck, she has an MP restoring move, why would she not be a mage, I don't know. What the heck am I talking about, what, didn't I get something? I forgot already, everyone. Let me look at my items real quick. Let's see. Do it. Did I get anything, or did I not get anything? Uh, no. Yes. Maybe. Valuan passport. Passport necessary to enter the Valuan Empire. Received from Nasser Merchant as a gift. Okay. Okay. That's cool. I guess. I don't think we really. Oh yeah, I was looking at the fish. Durr. Okay. Spiked sunfish travel in schools in order to avoid predators. They can be eaten or sold. Why would I want to do that? I mean, okay, I mean, these things kind of, these kind of are pointless, but I mean, the other ones, they might actually be worth something. Might either, I don't know if they actually heal anything or not, but, I mean, heck, the other fish doesn't heal a lot, so maybe that one doesn't either, but, I mean, heck, if you can sell them, then maybe it's worth picking those things up just so you can get a, get a nice selling price out of them, you know? I don't know. Just thinking about that stuff, you know? 
Yeah, you never know. Oh my gosh, maybe it's gonna be really expensive. It's gonna be a hundred thousand gold or something. We'll be, we'll be rich. We'll be completely rich, everyone. We will never have to worry about cash again, or will we? Maybe, maybe that gold. I mean, heck, gold. You gotta invest in gold, everyone. That is. The, what are you doing? <laughs> just backed up like ten feet. Like I'm just, I'm ready to do this. Let's, ma let's make this happen. Let's see if something dangerous can happen. No, no, what? No, 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 no excuses. There, there is no way. That should have, that should have hit. I'm sorry, everyone, but that one should have hit right there. I don't, oh, uh, I don't even know what that is. I'm, I'm assuming that's mute. I think, I think I said that before, but I'm still not really 100% sure on that one. Can he use? No, he can't. So yeah, that's that's mute. That's definitely mute, everyone. For sure, I already confirmed that once, but yeah, whatever. You know, let's just attack. I don't even care. This whatever that guy got on right now, we'll just attack with that. Let's we'll see what we got. Maybe maybe it'll work. Maybe it won't work. I don't know. Oh, I never. Mm, I'm just saying, I never used my new healing technique. I wanna. I wanna at least show it just to see if you know if it's cool or whatever. Right. I mean, it's, it will serve all of us right if I show the magic that I just learned. I mean, if I'm learning magic, gotta show it. It's kind of a rule around here, you know. You, you learn things, you show them, and then you and you're happy with what you saw right there. That's that's cool, I guess. Huh? She's one blue one away, and and Vice is four blue ones away. Okay. At least the yellow one's gonna be pretty quick to level up. Well, sort of ish anyway. Well, anyway, though, where are we going here? Let me look at my map. I actually found Valua already. If you try to go there, you just, well, basically what just happens is you just get blocked off by the, by some guards. It's kind of nice, actually. They, they're they very good at defending their own territory. What is this? Is this anything important? This is re- Oh! You have found the guide stones. <laughs> okay. Right, anyway. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that to just pop out at me. It's like, oh, hello. To the north, the Imperial City, Valua. Caution. Low visibility. To the east, the city of sand, Nasrad. Caution, strong currents. To the west, Sailor's Island. Caution, too much loqua. <laughs> what does that even do for me? Honestly, what does that do for me? What were those fish? I wasn't expecting to find more fish right there. Let's see, fish. What are you called? I got five of you, so let's see. We got, oops, that's not the right one. Sky Sardis. Okay. Uh, no, the common fish at the bottom of the food chain. They are fair for most mid-ocean residents. Hmm. All right. That doesn't sound like they're very good then. All right, to Valley where we. All right, to Valley where we go, everyone. Eventually, we'll be there soon. Maybe. I hope so. Anyway. Why? W okay, I was expecting some new enemies in this area. You know, we got some dark storm clouds here. But no, the enemies are the same as they've always been. Of course. You know what? Heck, focus, focus. Focus. We'll just we'll just destroy them all. Simple as that, really. Wait a second. Do I have? Hmm. Do I have magic that actually attacks multiple enemies? I don't remember. I don't remember everyone. I think I do, but I I don't remember what it was called. Cause it, uh, I'm gonna just say though, it would really help. I don't think they do this, but I mean these moves. They don't tell me what they do. They just kind of. Just kind of assume that you remember, and well, I don't remember everyone. I, I just don't. Oh, is that attack? That one must attack all enemies then. Hmm. Well, it's kind of irrelevant now anyway. But or is it? No, no, no. It's, it's irrelevant, everyone. I'm just gonna do this. We're gonna do that because you know, freaking lambda burst is the most amazing thing ever. It is the greatest move that you ever seen. And you ever will see. I mean, seriously, it just it literally just blows up every single enemy on the screen. How could that not be a good move, everyone? That's gotta be. Well, at least right now, I'd say that's my favorite move in the game right now. Just it's it's, it's too early to say for sure, but you know, I don't know. For Pete's sake, our little our pirate dude that joined our party. I mean, for Pete's sake, he only learns three super moves. Only three. Why are you talking? You're not the one who killed him. I swear. That should be how this game works. It, it should be. I mean, it should be like every other game where, oh, if you get the finishing blow, you're the one who talks at the end of the at the end of the round. I should really put purple and blue on, because I mean that's what we're about to learn here. No one's about to learn any greens or reds, so I mean, heck, everyone should just switch to purple or blue. It just that would just make more sense anyway. Okay, am I? I'm not really there yet, am I? 
All right, let me in. Let me in already. I'm just, I'm just waiting here. There we go. Thanks for letting me in. I, I couldn't find the city for a second there. Beyond this point is the Valuan Empire. Show me your entry passport. A passport? I've got one right here. Take your time looking it over. Hmm. Very well. You may proceed. Oh, there's no way you checked it that fast. I mean, what if it was a fake? What if it was a counterfeit, huh? We could have been caught. Looks like we made it through. We just passed the Valuan security checkpoint. That's quite an accomplishment, don't you think? Yeah. I thought getting in the Valua would be a lot tougher. Now all we have to do is sneak into... Whoa! Huh? What's that? It's the only entrance into the city of Valua. The Grand Fortress. Valua is surrounded by impassable mountains. So that is the only way in or out. Wow, I can't believe they actually built something that big. Oh, well, they don't- they aren't called an empire for no reason here, they definitely prepare themselves. During the Valua Nasser War, over a hundred Nasser warships bombarded this fortress for days. However, all the shells were repelled by these walls. The fortress may be the strongest structure of the New World. And they're gonna let us in for free! Oh my gosh! Look, it's moving! Yeah, they have to let us in. I mean, how else are they going to let us in right there? It seems like a very, very complicated way of letting us in, but, you know. It is what it is, I suppose. Okay, let us in already. It's already open. Go in! Go in! You can, you can, go, you can go. You're free to pass. Free to move. Maybe. Who's that ship coming in there? Oh, I see. I don't know. I don't actually see it. Who the heck is it, though? It could be anybody. And now there's a bunch of ships coming in! Oh, so is that how they regulate traffic? They'll open, and, they'll open it every now and then just to let a bunch of traffic in there? The door of the fortress opens only once a day to allow ships to pass through. The back side of that wall is completely lined with cannons. It was those cannons that nearly wiped out the en entire Nasser fleet. Defense and offense all in one. It's an invincible fortress. That's where they're holding Captain Dyan and Fina! No prisoner has ever escaped from that fortress. Although, I've heard that there's one way out. Really? Then it's possible. Huh. Yeah. After they execute prisoners, the corpses are thrown off of the island. That's just great! What are we going to do now? Ha! No one's ever escaped because I've never tried. I love a challenge. What Don't the... worry. I will rescue our friends and escape from that fortress. Just watch me. Or you could just be sneaky about it, be nice and stealthy, you know. You could just sneakily break him out of jail and then, I don't know, maybe just pretend that you didn't do anything wrong. I mean, if you can if you can sneak him out of there, they won't be ever the wiser and you can just get out of there without being any doing anything crazy, you know. It's as simple as that, really. Simple as that. Anyway, why are we zoomed into a wall? I, what was that? Was that supposed to... Was that supposed to indicate something, or was I just... I don't even know. My game must be breaking or something, or I, I just don't even know how this stuff works. Who knows? Alright, all closed up and ready to go. Can we break out of here within a day? I don't know. But no, that... Uh, well, yeah, actually, our ship is in there too, so we can't really escape with our ship until tomorrow, so... Well, that would suck. Just imagine, you're gonna be stuck in there forever and ever and ever and ever. Lord Galcian, your admirals have assembled as you commanded. Hmm. Excellent. Look at those commanders! Look at that guy over in the with the helmet head! He's crazy! Also, there's Mr. Familiar that we've seen before. Also, that guy looks like him too, except he has brown hair and a very spiky hair thing. Admirals of the Valuan Armada, let me first offer my gratitude to each of you for assembling on such short notice. Let it be known that we have successfully captured a citizen of the Silver Civilization, as Empress Theodora requested. What? How? So we finally captured one. Who accomplished this? <laughs> of course I was the one to find her first. 
First Admiral of the Armada, Fal Alfonso. I crippled her ship and captured her, but I was betrayed by my own vice captain and she was taken from me. Hmm. I'm sure Empress Theodora is very pleased that she was recovered. Second Admiral of the Armada, Gregorio. Now if we, now if we can per persuade her to give us the information we need, it would be worth all the effort we spent tracking her down. You said that the citizen of the Silver Civilization that he found was a woman? Now that's something worth getting excited over. You know what? No. Anyway. Third Admiral of the Armada, v v Vigoro. Okay. <laughs> this is what I'm gonna do. He's Captain Falcon. How old is she? Is she good looking? Does she wear leather? I like my women wild and crazy. Yes! <laughs> You're out of luck, Vigoro. The girl is the exact opposite. She's very shy and demure. Fourth Admiral of the Armada, Beliza. Her name is Fina. And she is currently being escorted to see Empress Theodora in the Imperial Palace. <laughs> Very good, Admiral Beleza. I see you are our espionage expert for good reasons. Fifth Admiral of the Armada, De Loco. He really is De Loco indeed. Look at that helmet he's wearing. <laughs> of course! Being the head of weapon development, I have a deeply vested interest in the technology of the Silver Civilization. <laughs> I will head back to Imper the Imperial Palace and await Empress Theodora's orders to commence the search for the Moon Crystals. Fina, our new ally, shall aid us in gathering all six of the crystals from around the world. As for you, Alfonso, you lied in your report, and as punishment you are now relieved of your position as commander of the Mid-Ocean Fleet. And for an indefinite period of time, you shall be confined to Ixataka. Huh? That was a little bit of a later reaction there. Y you think that I lied in my report, sire? <laughs> what are you talking about? You were attacked by the air pirates and you deserted your crew and your ship to save yourself. Your ship and your crew were released by the air pirates and returned recently. They filled a full an accurate report. Bah! Our armada is invincible. Showing any signs of weakness is unforgivable. I trust that you will not forget that. This meeting is over. I want all of you to be ready to depart at a moment's notice. Yes, Lord Gaussian! Gaussian! <laughs> Oh boy, these people are crazy. They are the craziest people I've ever seen. I mean, come on, man. Have you ever seen such crazy people before? I haven't. So this is the capital of Valua, huh? It's impressive. It's beautiful, but the skies are so gloomy. Valua is a beautiful city, but because of the fierce thunderstorms caused by the yellow moon, the city is shrouded in eternal darkness. That's the Imperial Palace straight ahead of us. The area on the left shore is called Upper City. Upper City? The people of Valor are either very rich or very poor, and they detest each other. Only the richest people in Valor can live in Upper City. The less fortunate are confined to Lower City. It's on the right shore. Wow. It doesn't seem right to force them to live in poverty like that. Hey, Captain, where should we land? In Lower City, there is a dock there that repairs and remodels ships. Aye, 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 bring us into the Lower City port. Aye, 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 aye. Don't you just love it when I say aye, aye, after he says aye, aye? I do love that. It's quite fun doing that. Look at the size of the city! Hmm, <laughs> Lower City looks worse close up. Up close. Everything is so dirty and run down, and it smells like... What? <laughs> oh, B-Ray? No, never mind. I don't know what just what the heck's going on, everyone. I have no idea. Anyway, we still need to. Sheesh. We still need to check that place out. We need to find a way to save Dad and the others. Captain, what do you think we should do? Hmm. I'm returning to the docks. I'll be overseeing the installation of the harpoon cannon. Uh huh. Let's split up. Aiken and I will check out the city while you get your cannon. 
When we're done, let's meet back at the inn. Hmm. Sure. I'll see you two later, then. Oh, splitting up. What if he just leaves without us? That'd be horrible. That'd be the worst thing ever. Seriously, I mean, come on. Don't do that, man. I I, I know what's coming here. No, I don't. I'm pretty sure he's not going to leave us. Or will he? <laughs> I don't know. That could... I wouldn't be surprised, actually, but I, I, I doubt he'll I doubt he'll leave us randomly. Uh, it seems like... I mean, he, do, he seems... I don't know. He doesn't seem like he'd be that kind of person, so what, what do we know? All right, let me turn the camera. I gotta stand still to do that, of course. Well, actually, I just realized, actually... You know what? We're past 30 minutes, everyone. I think since we just entered a new town, I think this is a very appropriate stopping point. So on the next exciting episode, I think we'll go ahead and explore the city. What do you guys think about? You know, I kind of wish I could have read that, but then the game decided like, oh, I'm just gonna put a, I'm just gonna put nothing in front of you randomly, so you can't see this text box. I, I don't know why that happened. Honestly, I really don't know why that happened. Anyway, kind of random, but either way, <laughs> I will see you all later. Exploring the town is gonna be next. <laughs>